Welcome in to an old school video here. We're going YouTube tips today. We've been playing 2K the past couple weeks. We're switching it up to going to EA Sports, PGA Tour. A lot of people have been leaving me comments now that I'm back asking for tips on how to get the ball to stop closer to the hole. They keep on shooting it. The ball spins too much. The ball spins not enough. And they're having a lot of trouble. Now, you got to realize this game uses a lot of real-life ball mechanics as well as wind mechanics. So you have to consider all of those. So we're going to dive on into it. So sit back, relax. Get out pencil and pen if you really need it. But just just watch. It's going to be pretty simple. I'm going to break it down. I'm going to play a few holes. And if you want to do this and you want to test it out yourself, go on the Pinehurst par 3 holes and play those holes. That will help you out drastically here. And you're just going to become a better player if you just play this over and over again because you're going to be hitting a lot closer to these flags. All right? So dive on in. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave any comments down below with any questions regarding anything I say or anything else that you need help with. I'll make a video for you because that's what it's all about. And I appreciate you guys always supporting. Lastly, if you haven't checked out MidnightBets.com, that's my betting page. I also have a YouTube page, Midnight Bets. We've won money every single month that we've done that. Come bet on some MLB with us. We're going to do NFL as well, so come like and subscribe to that. All right, here we go. So if you guys know win calculations... Uh, divide by three, so t 15, so 115 is the number here to get all the way to the flag, all right? Because it's 30 feet, divide by divide by three, that's 10, 125 shot, minus 10, 115. First thing you need to do, there's two things you need to consider when you're, when you're deciding what shot you want to hit here. What is the wind and what is the green? First, is there any wind? In this situation, there isn't any wind, so we're not worrying about it. But if there was wind, and you're hitting into the wind, so the wind is in your face, that ball is going to have a lot more spin. It doesn't matter what shot you hit, it's going to have a lot more spin. You need to account for that. Hit a knockdown shot. You want to go lower, lower, lower. I'm going to talk about the three tiers here of ball flights that you can hit, and you want to drop it lower, lower, lower. If you're hitting downwind, that's a different situation. You want to get the ball to spin as much as possible because the lower you hit it, the more it's just going to run on and run out. All right? So two different situations. What is the wind? The second is what is the green situation? In this one here, the green is running away from us. The green is running away from us. It's going to be harder to stop the ball. If we're hitting into the green where the, the green is coming back towards us, then it's going to spin a lot more. So you want to hit a lower shot, a less spinny shot. So downwind. All right. So just to, just to recap there, wind is number one. Number two is green. So now let's dive into some examples here. So 30 feet, like I said, down, down 115 is like if we're trying to hit the flag. Now I'm going to hit all three shots. There's three shots to consider here. The approach shot which is also drive if you just have it autoed. That is your most spinny, highest, highest shot. Then you have the finesse shot. So that's your medium flight, medium height shot. A little bit less spin than the approach, but still some spin. Then you have the knockdown, which is the lowest level shot that you possibly can hit, and it's going to run out. It's not going to have much spin to it. So that's sometimes good, sometimes bad. If you're hitting into the wind, the knockdown shot is really good. If you're hitting into the wind, a full shot is probably not very good because the higher up you hit it, the more the wind is going to affect it. All right? So here, we're going down. So there's no wind. We don't really need to worry about that. But this one is running away from us. So if it's running away from us, we need as much spin as possible. So probably the highest shot is going to be ideal here. So let's hit. We're going to hit 116 just to go just behind the flag. And we're going to hit, well, I'll hit all three of them here so you can see. But we'll watch the differences. All right, so there's the full one. This is the highest one with the most spin. Probably the best for this situation here. And it spins back. Now if I hit it, so we'll do an unplayable here. Obviously, I don't care about the score. So unplayable lies, so that way we can hit again, right? Now this time, I'm going to go with the medium ball flight. 
but we hit the finesse shot. Now, I really like the finesse shot. I think it's one of the best shots in the game. I highly recommend hitting the finesse shot if you can hit the finesse shot. I just think it's I think it's one of the best shots in the game. So I would highly recommend hitting this more often than not. If you ever caught in between two shots, the finesse shot is a lot better than most of the shots. So this is the medium height, and you can see it's just one hop, stop. It didn't spin back like the other one, it just one hop and stopped. So you can be a lot more accurate with that. Alright, now lastly let's talk about the knockdown. Now this one, I would not recommend in this situation, and I'm going to show you exactly why. The green's running away from us. So if it's running away from us, it's going to run out a little bit. We'll hit 115. So we hit it pretty good, but you can see ball fly a little bit further, went a little bit lower, a little further. It's still one hop and stop. Not terrible, but probably not ideal. So in that situation, I'd probably use the highest ball flight. Green running away from you, hit it high, spin it back as much as you possibly can. The green running away from you will help you. Now we have a completely different situation here on hole two. This is the, what I'm talking about. The wind. A little bit downwind, not too much. Don't need to worry about that. But the green is running back into our face. So, what we need to do is counter the green. So in this situation, if I hit this full, the highest shot I possibly can hit, with the most spin that you can possibly hit, it should spin all the way back. And that's not going to be good, unless you send it way over the green. You hit it up. And like I said, I'm not I'm not too worrying too much about that. And then it's going to spin. And it's going to spin. And you're like, what's going on? It's spinning nowhere near the flag. That's not ideal. That's not what you want to do. You want to counter counter the, the other one. That was really ideal for a green running away from us. But it's not ideal for a green that we're hitting into. So now we go to a different one here. We go into the finesse shot. Now remember, this is the medium height. This one has less spin than that shot, but still enough spin to hold a green. So we're up, uh, also it's up four, so it's playing like 108. All right. So this one, medium height, medium flight, one hit, and stop with a little bit of check. This is why I always recommend the finesse if you can do it. Unless you're hitting into a really high wind, then I'm gonna recommend hitting the knockdown shot. The knockdown shot is also a really good option here. Why? Why is the knockdown shot a really good option here? Because you're hitting into a green, right? You're hitting into a green. You just have to determine which one would be better in this shot. Super low, no spin, or the other one. So let's hit the knockdown now. Oh, I pushed it. I push it a little bit, but you can see that one, one hop, stop, no spin back. Why is that? Because that was better for us. You just have to look, one of the things you really have to look at in that situation of determining, do I want to hit the knockdown or do I want to hit the finesse? Look at how big your shadow is, right? So the knockdown, super small area, miss area, finesse, a little bit bigger, a little smaller, a little bit bigger, a little smaller, a little bit bigger. But if you have more green to run out, the knockdown will probably be good. If you have less green to run out, the finesse will probably be best. I highly recommend hitting the finesse as much as possible. All right, just remember ball high, medium, low. If you can hit a knockdown with the wedge, highly recommend always hitting the knockdown with the wedge. If it's not a wedge though, this is a good situation here. All right, so we got two pretty much canceling each other out. So it's just 145. If you hit a full 145, this is probably just going to spin all the way off. I pushed it. Pushed it. It should spin because it's the highest, spinniest of shots, right? See how that spun back? You got to account for that. Would I hit that shot regularly? Probably not. I don't think that is the best situation because the higher it goes, the more the wind affects it. Now, if we hit the finesse shot, We'll hit the finesse first. Finesse first. Finesse, you're going to have to pull it back down. Hit 
Hit the finesse. Should have a little bit of spin to it. But not much. You just over, you over, over hit that one with the fast. It's all about how big that circle is. Now I'd probably go, my preferred option always is if I get like somewhere between a wedge or if I get somewhere between, oh, if I get somewhere before between a wedge and um, a nine iron, I always prefer the knockdown shot. Now, this will be just a little bit below the, below the flag, but that's exactly where you want to be here. Pretty straight. I overswung it again. I gotta stop overswinging it. But you can see it has a little bit of check, a little bit of roll. That time I just I just gotta stop overswinging it. That's just on me. But you can see this more. It's a much more consistent ball flight. All right, let's look at this one here. We got a little slope here. You can hit into that slope and use it to your advantage. If you send a, a shot down this, you're probably gonna have to spin it. So it's down three. Just playing 133. So look at the difference in the shadows. Knockdown, finesse. Knockdown, finesse. I always prefer the knockdown if I can get it. 133 should be just below the flag. Just below the flag. One hop and stop without spinning backwards. That's why if you got a wedge, I always prefer the knockdown shot here. Now, the finesse is also a good option, but if you just hit that higher one, right? You hit that higher one. What did I hit there? 133. Can't even move it. We'll hit 131. We'll see how much it spins. Just a longer swing. The longer you swing, the more odds are that you're going to go all wonky with it. You just have to hit it past the flag and then spin it back. I mean, it's still an okay option. By no means is it a bad option here. But what it... I always just recommend if you have a wedge, a wedge to a 9-iron, hit the knockdown shot if you can. This one's a little bit short. But this is another one. You could spin this one all the way back if you wanted to. Like, we can send this all the way to the back of this green. And use this slope to our advantage. Watch, we can, we can spin this one. Remember, this is the highest ball flight you're choosing here. It's going to bounce off that hill. And it should spin. And it's going to spin all the way back. And then it keeps going. And then you're angry that you're not on the green. Where, as if you just hit a knockdown or a finesse shot that didn't have as much spin, you'd be in a much better situation. So I hit the knockdown shot here. Look how small that shadow is. And see it's up two feet maybe so playing 109 like to hit a little underswing with these knockdown shots there it is I pushed it a little bit but look at the distance control the distance control was exactly it didn't rip the distance control is exactly what we wanted this one is a high, high elevation. So the higher the elevation, it's going to spin, right? I hit this full drive. It's down uh, 13 feet. So it's playing 100 yards. Playing 100 yards. But if I hit this a little bit behind the flag, watch. It's going to super high to low elevation. And the green is working against us. This is going to probably spin into the water. And then it's going to rip. And then right into the water. You see the difference? This is a perfect prime example here. Perfect prime example. Now, if you just change it up, I don't know if you're going to be able to hit a knockdown here at 100. Oh, you can. A knockdown at 100. Right? Hold it a touch. But look at that spin. Barely any spin. Right? Even the finesse shot would be pretty decent here. But it's just such much a much more controllable shot. The higher the only time you really should be hitting that high drive shot is if you are going to a downhill slope. 
Also remember, if you're hitting out of the rough, if you're hitting out of the rough, you're not going to be able to spin the ball. All right? If you're hitting out of the rough, you will not be able to spin the ball. So you have to account for that. Hit it as high as possible. And that shot, pretty freaking good. But it's going to have some spin to it, remember. Not as much, though. Probably a really good situation here. Finesse or knockdown. Finesse or knockdown. Unless you're going downhill or out of the rough. Hit it high. Spin it back. Alright, obviously those scores don't matter. I hit three shots per. But I hope that helps out a little bit. Stick to the finesse shot. Stick to the knockdown shot. Unless you're hitting down slope or downwind or out of the rough. Then take it as high as you possibly can. And try to knock that spin off. Or try to get as much spin as possible. Otherwise, cut the spin. We don't like spin. You don't like spin. Hope that helps. Like and subscribe. Check out the Midnight Bets channel as well if you want to win some money. Please let me know down in the comment section if this helps, hurts, or what else I can help you out with. I'm always here for you guys. Catch you later.